spot. So. Yeah, and uh, a few words about Cold Zero as well. You know, looking forward to seeing him, you know, start 2018 after an amazing 2017, an amazing 2016. I think we're looking at one of the greatest players to ever touch the game, if not the greatest. Absolutely. I, I think the word that best describes Cold is ef efficiency, how efficient he is for his team in his role. He's absolutely the best closer out there. You know, you're really going to see him do something mad at the beginning of the round, get an opening kill. But as the round develops, as trades happen, you know, even if SK is in a 3v4 situation, you know, something like that, Cold can always deliver in that sense he won the most clutches last year as well that's one of the main things mm -hmm. about him he's always so good at delivering for sk towards the end and works very very well with the information they provide them and you know they do support him but there's a reason why they do so because it's always worth it for sk yes yeah, so they're gonna go up against space soldiers and anders just we said that space soldiers were a, a, a team that could surprise at this event i know i did I, Pretty sure, if I remember rightly, you were of a similar mind. Yes. Uh, but uh, it's unthinkable, surely, they could do it here against SK Gaming. This is a real tough draw for them. I think it definitely is. I think that's 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 not out of bounds to say that. I wouldn't say they couldn't do it. I mean, I think mm. especially you have to consider the format again, just the best of one format. You win those two pistol rounds, especially if you win one of the fourth round or the first rifle round to the other team, then you've got yourself a real setup. I mean, we've think about how many games we've had today where one team never has an economy. Like, the, just the whole first half of the game is just one team with lots of money and the other team with none at all. That is, that could happen, right? Yeah. Um, I think they're an exciting team, but yes, I agree. It, it is going to be a very, very tough game here for them. And a lot of pressure on two players in particular today, in my opinion, as Antares and Kalix. They're the guys who go out and get things done for space soldiers. Uh, I, I think the problem with this team, and it's, I suppose it's a nice enough problem to have, because uh, not everybody has two great players, is, but if those two great players don't deliver at this level, if they do have an off game, there's not really anybody that can pick up the slack to the same degree. I agree, and I don't think their you know, team play is at a level where it can compensate uh, for maybe a, a weaker performance from their star players. This is going to sound funny, but I think a big problem for Space Soldiers is, uh, space soldiers is the fact that they already beat an SK on LAN at TSL yeah. 1 Cologne. Because SK is a team, when that happens to them, that's going to fuel them, right, to, to really <laughs> well, motivate they them, you for to, sure. to crush them now, really, not, not to you know, give them anything, so to speak. And they're definitely going to prepare for Space Soldiers, and SK rarely gets upset by, you know, weaker teams. They're, they're just so solid. It's so difficult to game plan against them as well. And, uh, yeah, Space Soldiers definitely an uphill struggle for them. Well, it turns out we've literally just had the map in and SK Gaming have gone for Mirage. We've seen it a lot this major so far. And Space Soldiers are going to start on that CT side. So, Anders, a bit of a reaction to that one. I really like SK Gaming on Mirage. I think it's a phenomenal map for them. It absolutely is. They've got so many strengths on this map. I mean, not least, I think, the orping of, of Fallen. I mean, if it's just like a regular game for him, he's able to hold down bomb sites and do a good job. But I think the real the real strength of him on a, on a map like this one is if they start to fall behind, if they, you know, if they get overwhelmed by the force of, of space soldiers playing their crazy version of Counter-Strike, then Fallen can match that level pretty quickly. And I think he's, he's so aggressive and so and so crazy with the weapon that he can pull them out of a big hole, you know? He definitely breaks the mold, especially on a map like Mirage. He can play positions like close up A ramp on the yeah. CT side. That's something you don't really see from Oppers uh, on this map. They usually play ticket or around triple, you know, sure, where, where yeah. there's a bit of range to work with. And that allows SK to run a lot of different setups. For, of course, this is his playground, Mirage on the CT side around that connector area, sneaking through smokes and all that stuff. Phelps on the T side doing something similar. So very, very difficult to game plan against SK on this map. Well, uh, I've got to get your predictions. You know, I'm guessing Space Soldiers won't be too sad about playing Mirage. Played it plenty in the new Challenger stage. But who's going to take this one? I'm going with uh, SK. What the little soul that I have left, still Richard, is going to go on SK as well. All so right. I, can't, I can't deal with it any longer. So uh, we're picking the favorites for this one. RSK Gaming going to win the last game of the day. They're going to be up against Space Soldiers. It's going to be awesome. We'll see you after the break. I can do anything!
Well, the last of day one for the new legends, I was going to say new challenges, new legends are top 16 teams at the major. Yes. And it's a big one. SK, a team that's always in consideration at major tournaments, any tournament for that matter, playing with Phelps, going up against Space Soldiers. I think this could be the game of the day. I'm not going to lie to you, Matt. I feel like Space Soldiers have put their best foot forward so far in this major. They've made it to the final 16. SK obviously haven't practiced this lineup, and they have lost to this team before. I feel like this could go all the way. I do slightly favor SK overall, but still, I feel like 30 rounds, almost certainly and space soldiers could i said i baited breath could steal the victory away absolutely possible look space soldiers have a similar story to me that immortals had struggled forever to get through the minors get through the qualifier finally they're in a major they're in a top 16 of a major now as well maybe there's something in that but let's be realistic the one thing i've got to focus on as they have the b site aggressively and calyx gets tagged is how aggressive phelps plays and how they play around that that was the issue is that they were over aggressive with phelps on the sk lineup so see if they try and force a style out of him that's more favorable calyx to 14 bomb planted and a retake coming in three from cat I love this boost from Cold Zero as well. No CTs can be checking that. That's very sneaky as Major starts to encroach on the bomb side now. Frag starts the exchange left, right, and center, but they all go in favor of SK Gaming. Wonderful stuff there. Nice the execution. Lots of damage inflicted towards Shaw at the very start. That pushed Calyx right back. They planted the bomb. Like we said, boosted Cold Zero up into a very favorable angle, and they hit every single shot. Good start from SK. And Space Soldiers will, of course, be forced back in the second round. Here's Phelps getting it done. He is a very strong fragger. Yeah, that, that can't be denied. Yeah, exactly. I have to give him that. It wasn't a skill issue with SK and, and him. It was a, a style issue. It was the fact that he was aggressive, Fur was aggressive, and Cold, I, I think, took a bit of a hit with both them Cre being so aggressive. Creative differences, perhaps. Yeah, that's so, exactly it. But, um, like Ben Folds and Bust. <laughs> exactly. That's what I, that's what I was going to go with. But, um, but like I said, Force by coming in. CZ, Steagles, Major. We'll just have the PD-50, no armor. We have three rifles for SK Gaming, two of which are AK-47s, fallen with a glow, opting for a bit more utility. It is $700 cheaper than the AK-47. Freeze up, smoke, and two flash tanks if you are more inclined. Lantares, watch out for his name in the top right hand of the screen. He is the strongest player by far on Space Soldiers. Certainly world class in terms of his aim. If he did speak English, I dare say he'd be in one of the best teams in the world. And he does. Not to, 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 to draw back from that too far, he did a few interviews last week. He does speak some English. He's yeah. just not amazing at it. But not uh, good enough, not fluent enough to make it, uh, I guess, seamless in terms of communication with the team. Mm. He'd be able to process it, but it, that split second sometimes where you have to think about the word or translate in your own head, sure. it's costly. 40 seconds remaining. SK. Holding towards the A ramp right now. There is a lot of presence from the CTZ Calyx engine already in waiting there. Phelps won't spot him just yet. Good for the CTs. Does get a dink in. And Phelps will just try and hold the spray for any CTs trying to pick up that frag around the corner. Not going to be happening though. 25 seconds as far. And we'll find the second one around. I'd love to see Phelps and Fallen swap guns at the AK back to Fallen, who still has 100 HP and I work inside of the site, but seemingly Fallen is fine. He will be fine to kill immediately on Taco, and he'll follow that to Major as well. They lose three, in, or excuse me, they lose two, so I thought they lose, lost Phelps as well, but they lose two in the process, still they get the round. Good work, Major, getting two frags at the end there. At least keeps them relatively modest. It has to be the fully can off from Space Soldiers, but watch out, these rounds can be slightly uh, interesting at times, especially the way the game's developing right now. A lot of teams will just focus five players, maybe up towards middle, one flashbang, and just try and have a snowball effect. So there's the one flashbang purchased by Major. He got two kills in the previous round, so he got 600 bucks there. So he buys a PD-50 for 300 and a flashbang for 200. And they go for an A stack. Unfortunately, SK gone for a B rush, the exact opposite of what they were hoping for. And this round is already over, I'm afraid. Probably planted. You can see the disparity on the map right now. And, uh, yeah, Space Soldiers, they'll see the bomb go down and hopefully try to pick up some exit frags. That's pretty much as good as it'll get. If they can get any on the SMGs, it would be lovely for SK. Potentially we go for the bonus round next round, but I guess the alternative is to get the bonus return now, get the $600 per kill go down and just pick up the AK early and be ready for the gun round. So there's logic behind both, and they'll send fur out hunting for that exact reason. But for the most part, they are sitting back and being rather passive. Phelps has turned to try and find them, and he's going to certainly come up. Some exchange. 
There's Kelp, dollars in the corner, chance to find more, but they're gonna run away from the back. They're gonna try and keep it that runs them toward first, so both players are gonna get a massive amount of money. Oh, oh unfortunate for Cold. Ran out of ammo, but Phelps found the kill. So now they can't upgrade. They lose all but one of the Mac 10s, and they all make a little bit of money off of it. Now remember, some of the Space Soldiers players can go toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of fragging capability. Uh, raw aims, raw jewels, they, they will be able to take them down. So watch out for Zantaros, Calix, and uh, occasionally Major as well as the opera of the squad. Watch out for him as he purchases that weapon this round. Standard smoke towards middle. Remember, SK have not practiced with this particular lineup in a long time. They've been focusing on the bigger tournaments. Well, the, the more, this is obviously the biggest it gets, but the, there's a lot more tournaments where they'll be able to play with bolts, so they've been focusing on that. Major now presented with opportunities. He flashes one. He actually get a nail. Two kills right there. It's actually very well played indeed. He will fall back without going down. Might as well defer. Major stepping up. Three kills already in the AWP, and they run toward him. Fallen finally gets the return. Hold on, though. <laughs> Hold to Zantaras. You're right. Hold on. It's never over with SK until the round's completely done. Exactly. One of the most tenacious teams we have in CSGO. Fallen and Cold are quite the duo, as it was a five on two, now a three on two. Fallen looking for anything he can in the back lines, but unfortunately his teammate will not get a chance to do anything with engine because it's going to be taken down Fallen, and this is Cold Zero now with a bomb. Why are Cold's arms just not there? In the picture who just disappeared he's got one of those long sleeve t-shirts on i don't think he does he's like crossing his arms in there yeah but i don't think he has a black t-shirt on does he maybe he does maybe he's just god <laughs> it's floating and his limbs are an extension of his powers 35 seconds here and cold zero will just hold on in the b apartments 21 bullets in his ak waiting for a mistake to be made i don't think it's easy to give up much here though would take one hell of a performance as Calix. Hold in that strong position there. You can jump out there by yourself and looking for any legs crossing over. It's Major though that gets the job done. Flashbang comes over his teammate, completely nails the first shot and the second. The third was pretty good as well. So it's a very good job there by Major. Bear in mind that's the first uh, real gun round there and you will see those kind of strange approaches from a T side just trying to dictate the pace of the game, not do a default to start, just kind of throw a spanner into works as it were. Doesn't really work out as Major has a beautiful round though, the AWP. Still a buy here for SK, not the strongest though. You can see Fallen and Cold Zero just with Gilol's here. Attack it with the AWP, must have had the best spawn. He'll probably give that back over to Fallen eventually. What I'm speaking of is there with him, waiting for that to happen. Taco holds on to it long enough, just long enough, to find Zantara's pushing up middle, so good find. 3-1. First gun goes to Space Soldiers, and if SK win this round, Although three stayed alive, so the money built up somewhat, but it's not enough. They had to reinvest in all of the utility and everything that goes along with that on the CT side. So they could break them again. Take control of the first half. Or that's the next two. The hot seat. Jumping over major spots, one in middle, but Fur's already wrapping around behind them. Smoke in the window. He's going to go beyond. He's going to just push directly through and wrap. I, th I would suspect behind B, it's more likely you're going to find two players there as opposed to one at CT Stairs. This is looking very good for Fur. They have no idea he's made his way towards his position, but does he get anything from it? Paz in towards CPL. Do have a secondary player towards Shaw. That's Major, and he's got the ult from Rambat. So Fur lets him live for now. Problem is the Major's going to turn around at some point and start looking toward B Apartments, so timing could turn against him. It certainly will not. Fur has sight. The bomb is already ready inside of the B Apartments, and Paz will have to rotate off of Catwalk back into a position of arch. He's there, but he can't line them up. So bomb to be planted, and better still, Fallen takes him down with an immediate shot. This should be SK's round. That's just a textbook Fur round, isn't it? That's so good. Sneaking behind the back lines. They have no idea. He's made all the way towards B. He doesn't even pull the trigger. He checks every single risk factor there. The van, forest position towards CPL and manages to just take down the AWP and completely unleash his team on the bomb side there. Secondary all picked up a taco. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, is it, well, he might just be throwing it out of the map. I'm not sure what he's up to. Looks like he will be taking it. There's Calix and Engine now. Hold on to the battery. Calix will spot with the shadow. Take down Fallen. That's actually a bit of a clumsy kill to give away. It's an AK-47 though. The NWP. And now Taco might be regretting throwing the AWP away. Either way, there's the opening kill. And that's going to be leave Space Soldiers with a buy available with two weapons surviving.
4 versus 1 now, and they have an AK-47 and M4 and UMP. Has a major though, about two and a half grand each. Do they even join the purchases? We'll have a look as they take a tactical time on the SK side. Interesting to make that call now, but they want to try and dissect the money of what exactly Space Soldiers will bring at them. Or to the table. Calix with the AK carried over. Fur is a player early on in even the Kaboom lineup. And then into Keed Stars before Cold joined. Was the star of this team, undoubtedly. Cold took that position. The amount of skill. But Fur has gotten, I think, better and better at getting map control. He was always aggressive, and he was always kind of great in terms of position, but never about sneaking around and flanking and getting behind and opening up opportunity from essentially him alone, as he did in the last round toward B. Snacks was the best at that forever, I would have said. But now I think Fur and Rain are easily up there. The final buy comes in for Space Soldiers. Three UMPs, two rifles, one of which is the AK-47. No kits available. He's not got smokes for Taco. He's firing himself in towards the A-bomb side by himself. That is a bit of a misplay there. Engine will take him down. There's no trade potential whatsoever. And ultimately, he just gives up another rifle for the CT forces there. They'll head back towards B. It's made to defend. He has had a very good round of the A-bomb site, looking to replicate that form. As he sits by the van now, he suddenly gets Phelps, but can't actually find the damage at all. Big miss for Major. That's a problem. Zantaras makes up for one. Just the angle to catch off bench, does so and takes down cold, so we mentioned. Man for man, Zantaras could stack up. Not that time around, and Calix, the other of great skill and proportions on at Space Soldiers, able to sneak out, find a shot as well from window to fall. And so bomb to plant for fur. One versus four. Late round, and all four are not are coming from Checker. He's not gonna believe that himself, so it's gonna be a matter of doubting himself and looking toward Cat over and over. Doesn't even get that far. Calix with a shot. And it's 4-2. Yeah, a little bit of a weird move there from Taco. He has a smoke in front of him, right clicks to flash. There's no one else to trade with him whatsoever. He better make sure that's one hell of a flashbang to cover every single position on the A-bomb site. Goes through, and the smoke down, his teammates can't get any sort of trade. They have to fall back, go towards B. And very nice shots from Santara, you're absolutely right. He's one of the key players that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the big names of SK Gaming. Kalex as well, AK in hand, manages to get it done. Moving to round number seven here. There is... One more buy available to the inside with the bomb being planted. The orb comes out for Fallen. Cold Zero of the AK-47. They're lacking a lot of things. Three players without utility. Two of them without helmets. And Fallen tries to go through the smoke here. But Zantara is aware of that prospect. Does damage but can't quite find the killing blow. Fallen for an angle. Wide side of the window, but Fur wants to sneak up from the underpass. He's gone by the smoke just as Antares was blinded, so despite the small gap, couldn't quite see him, and they're both going to relinquish the position. Fur is going to, to get aggressive. For some reason, they thought that maybe someone had behind them, so they spray to the corner. Additional smoke deployed toward the window. Watch the push from engine. They want information. Phelps was able to gauge that spot at fast enough and fall back. He didn't take any damage, but Engine has to do the same because he's well beyond enemy lines, or at least the safety of. <coughs> it's back toward A. So Cold's going to play solo mid. The thing is, they have two smokes here. It won't be a very detailed execution, probably a smoke towards CT spawn. One at jungle and flash over, and hope Phelps can open things up here. Just throw him into the bomb site. That's the one for the steps. Fallen's throwing right now. So if they're going to go steps, it's going to be steps and jungle, is my guess. I think they're going to leave CT. They're going straight contact. So top step, second one's gonna go jungle. So they are gonna leave Palace open. That gives them a bit of a chance to peek. Good find from Phelps. There is actually no one at CT, but do they know that Engine is also inside of the site? Becomes a bit of a problem for them. Cold as well is still waiting for rotation. So he's not taking over connection yet. That means Paz has position. Even though the smokes are there, massive gap in them, by the way. They'll still be able to hold comfortably as Cold slowly works his way up. Majors killed Zontaras. That's a big problem because that gives Cold more room to work with. Phelps is still pinned down, however, and four seconds round done. He cannot plant the bomb. He's actually got to get out of there because he's going to lose the AK and the money if he's not careful. He's made noise as well. He's flirting with it, is he not? <laughs> yeah, just to uh, make it clear, if you die after the round expires, no bomb has been planted. You get no money into the next round there. So Phelps has wanted to fall back and stay alive and guarantee that uh, he keeps the AK-47. Definitely... The danger that four to three those space soldiers actually looking quite competitive now two AKs are saved and they will 
pretty much forced by into this one. Everyone's gone all in, apart from Phelps, who will keep $1,000 from the previous round. Two AKs, Deagle, CZs, and Space Soldier starting to come to life here. Right now, the default comes in from SK Gaming with Paz towards Sean. They give him Major Oldsby again, a very aggressive angle this time, looking towards the steps area. Molotov's out, running some grenades and falls back towards the side itself. Nothing really given away from SK just yet. They're just waiting for any sort of aggression to be presented by Space Soldiers. Going forward and wait outside the A bomb site. That's another smoke lands at the A ramp. Sees head in hand has fallen, waits for anyone to push through the smoke. Major to hold mid with the op as well as Tyro's inside of connector. So fur with bomb at courtyard outside of B. and cold to push down catwalk on their own. The double smoke play with a bit of a fake toward A pulled Zontaras away from connector. So Phelps and Cold could actually trade off of the op and major because an op missing a shot could be run down by the pistols. He's got to fall back to the site. And unfortunately, Paz still posted. Fur would be able to do nothing of that and Zontaras gets positioned back. So they're not going to get much ground. Mm. And this is, my guess, going to go four to four. Oh, absolutely. 20 seconds remaining. They haven't really made a dent on either bomb side. It's going to be Fur going at the CZ right now. Trying to take every corner he can, but Paz ready and waiting. Easy does it. Both headshots to close out the round. That was the force by from SK. And now, presumably, Space Soldiers take the lead. Has to be the full eco now. As we will find three rounds in a row for the Turkish side. One of the dark horses, certainly, coming into this tournament. I think there's some big scalps on their way to the final 16. Definitely a team to look at for the future. And there will be a partial buy from SK once again. Tech 9 for Taco. There's a few pros still using that weapon. All in full eco apart from two flashbangs. A couple of sets of armor. And maybe it's a straight up B rush here. That's all. That's fair. Stacked as well, so we got tagged quite significantly by that small portion of flames. Position finds one drops off immediately. Last time he was flawless here. That's not exactly flawless as he drops the date. Hmm. Bounces back at him, but he still finds the second place. It seems, and somehow stays alive in that position to get the pistol out. He'll go down eventually. Great three kills from him, from Major. Oh, okay. Clean up. Space Soldiers take the lead 5 4. You said this could be close. They won in Cologne against them in a best of one. In the opening game of the tournament. For them, for either team, I should exactly. say. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, this is a very similar situation. And right now, they are looking quite comfortable on the CD side. Four rounds in a row now. But the full buys begin for the Brazilian side, SK. Just a slight caveat for anyone just joining us. It is Phelps, who was part of the lineup previously, has to play for them due to the rules of the Major itself. Bolts will not be with them, and so they're certainly hindered, but it's not like their tactics won't be there. They obviously have a full strap book from his tenure in the lineup previously, but certainly haven't been practicing, and Space Soldiers will be lipping their, licks, lip, lipping their lips at the prospect of taking them down in this sort of fashion as Phelps opens things up, takes down Engine. Five on four. Good work by him. That was actually towards the palace area, I believe. Taco to work with Fur. Fur tagged. That need, if I'm not mistaken, but Taco finds on towers above him. That's going to give them a lot more freedom inside of middle. Four players pressuring, and Paz is sneaking out behind them at A main. So he's got Nord T. That weakens what's inside of A. The timing works out for SK because it'll just be Calyx there. Oh, but what a shot. Quick about this. Okay, now they should be. Yeah, Paz has to turn around and come back. He realizes it now because if he rotates all the way to middle, there's no element of surprise in that. He's just going to arrive at connector as if it's a standard retake. His best bet to play A main behind them as they work inside of the site, and they still have to take their time. So he could be positioned well to get at least one shot, but they're looking for it. You know, there's no one towards CT stairs. There's been no peeking, no presence. So logically, given that they came through Palace, they'll look that direction, and Fur is going to post up and wait. So... SK, five versus two. I think we've got a 5-5 five, five game. But five, excuse me, four rounds in a row. 
For Space Soldiers, this becomes a reset for SK. So keeping as many players alive as possible is key in this post-plant position. Yeah, plenty of money for Space Soldiers here. They'll save the Orp in the M4 knowing this round has been given up, but you're right, SK need to make sure they keep everything alive. Two mentalities in this, because it's early and Space Soldiers are the underdogs, so keeping the, the cash flow high is important. In other words, keeping both of these guns, even though they've got money to buy in the next round. But at the same time, you could always pressure the bomb and try and take a few players down when it explodes. That's what Pat They've doing, left right? the bomb. He doesn't have a kit. It's a little bit late, but yeah, he could have snuck in there potentially and done some damage to them. Yeah, can you imagine? Well, plenty of cash, like you said. Space Soldiers will tie things up five to five. Much better, though, from SK. The opening duel towards the Palace area yielded a lot of success for the Brazilian side. It was Phelps to open things up, taking out Engine, and then Fur doing what he does best towards that connector area. Lots of precise headshots coming in. Clinical stuff. Round number 11 as we come to the closing sectors of the half. We'll see whether Space Soldiers can stay competitive here. It's going to be Zantaros with the M4. He loves to challenge with the spray at the very start. He does this a lot. Doesn't land any damage this time, and Kallax looking towards the palace there. Very defensive hold on the A bomb side, engine towards CD spawn. Kallax and Zantara is holding Gen 1 connector. No one actually playing in the site itself. So fur to work out from underpass yet again. You can see they've got no B presence here, Matt. So presumably that means an A split will be coming in eventually, focusing on that connector. They have no control of the apartments. They have no idea if someone's going to be behind them in T spawn, for example. So I would say in the next. 20 seconds or so, you'll see a commitment from SK focusing on the connector. Could go towards Shaw if they really want to as well. And Fur in that connector now, he's going to clear that out. Oh, what spots the player. That's a really cool smoke for that exact position. And it's going to pull Zontaras away from the window. So even though he and Paz had a crossfire set, Major's still nearby with the AWP on Cat. But it gives them a lot more space to take Catwalk. Good trade on Paz. Major's there. Taco has to be careful. He's the one with the bomb as well. So if he gets careless and gets around the corner on his own and gets caught off oh. like that, Major takes control of the round because the bomb is now down and it's visible as the op can fall back into a better position. They even tried to flash Taco. Engine with the second op is able to make damage known as well. Somehow Major doesn't collect on Fur. That should have been an easy kill. This is the orb shot. Nails the headshot with the PT-50, but can't close it out. Zantara certainly will, though. You can see the bomb. Two versus one now for Fallen. He's amazing in the clutches, but can't hit the shot. Zantara cleans up. Two kills to him and recovers both AWPs. Six to five. They take the lead once again. That all comes to Major, the one catwalk. Blinded and hit the shot on Taco, who had bomb. Completely blinded. Time to the perfection, though. Just pulls the trigger right there, and then Taco is slightly blind as well. You can see him holding... His head as he runs around the corner, the bomb goes down, bit of a misplay, and Fur, that's desperate, just hoping the orb shot would miss. And uh, Zantara has to clean things up with the M4A4. Great stuff, and Space Sold is looking good here. I think it's a tactical timeout for SK. If I'm not mistaken. They will have money after getting a reset there. Remember, they kept five players alive before, so money not in the bin, but it's certainly not in an amazing position. Two Galils for SK. Taco and Cold are uh, wielding those weapons. Of AKs as well. I would say a set piece coming forward here with the UMP in the hand of Fallen. Maybe do something off the bat straight away. This is a big round. Space Shield can do this, going to force an eco out. And they've got the upper hand and then some double orb set up on their side of the server. Oops. To the window. Connector and catwalks. They get position. The weapons are not amazing on the SK side. No op. Two Galils. And one UMP. Where's coming from? I think he's bypass major. I don't think he's in the corner. Still gets an angle. Catches the light shot. Just going the drive by shooting, but he's getting overwhelmed because all it sneaks inside of the apartment. Major had no inclination. He was already staring down toward Catwalk. Good response, Engine, but is that too late? They've lost two. Done a good amount of damage, but they've given up a ball. Thankfully, a nade will collect Fallen. That will certainly benefit them on the retake. Looking very good as Taka takes down Engine as well, but the round is not over quite yet. Zantara is out of nowhere. Gets to the bench, finds a double kill, and now it's just down to Cold Zero. A little in hand, and to get a dink off there. And the clutch really begins here. They have got a little bit of utility. The incendiary is good. 
And it will push Cold Zero back. Calix and Zantara, the two strongest fraggers on the team, managed to come up trump there, especially Zantara is pushing towards our bench and it's hitting absolutely everything. It was a wonderful beast play coming in from SK there. Like we said, a set piece at the very beginning of the round, smoke towards window, connector, connector control coming in, first frag in their favor, fast towards a V bomb set, major, overwhelmed with the pincer coming in from the apartments and the short area. It felt like it was there around all day long. Zantara sneaks out of the kitchen and takes them all down with him. SK just can't get into this one so far. 7 to 5, and they have to take a partial buy here. Remember, they won the pistol and got the 0 3. Two gun rounds since then, but Space Soldiers, since we're getting to the deeper stages now in the first half, look like the stronger unit. So Taras starts it off again, takes down Fur. Leading the way, by the way. 12 kills for him. Major's next in the server with 10. Calix steps up to find Taco. Engine will sit and wait inside of Jungle. Thumps taps with the CZ, but Major's immediately behind him, so not much that they could really do. Just cold. And a Deagle shut down. Space Soldiers, three rounds in the lead, eight to five, having not won the pistol. They're looking very, very sharp. and. Is this another best of one which they could steal from SK? It's looking like it could pan out in that sort of fashion. This is going to hurt the confidence of SK as well. Playing with Phelps, they would have wanted to get off to a good start. There is Phelps on your left. Absolutely. But uh, we're going to number 14 here. SK is still limited. Cold Zero, no nades whatsoever. No AWP for Fallen. No Molotovs, just uh, bare essentials here. The AKs and the smoke grenades. A couple of flashbacks, Phelps. So taken down to be Zantaras, like I said, he always spams that smoke and to great effect most of the time. Paz doesn't have to commit here. He'll fall back as Taco looking for a response frag there, pushing through the smoke. Zantaras and Kalik once again. They are great fraggers. They're lighting up the scoreboard left, right, and center. Five on two now. Has to retake connector. Guns are up this time, and yet no damage, or hardly any damage has been done to space soldiers. Fur will have to try and open it up once more. Fallen has to make a decision, has to stay alive and be efficient, then it looks like it's going to be A this time rather than B. That also means that Fur's got to slow down ever so slightly, watching to make sure no one's going to rotate behind him, because if he kills this too soon, he'll draw attention, and Fallen is not in position. He's gone for it, he's got two lined up, Calix down. He's got to take those when they're available. If it was just the one, it might not have been worth it, but two plus the op, that'll certainly do. Fur, oh, I thought he was going to get Zontaras as well. Can you imagine if he just won the round like that? That was unbelievably good from Fur. He has set Fallen up for a potential victory here, but still two players to find and a bomb to plant. 40 seconds, he'll just take that risk here and go for the plant and see if he's will allow him to do it. Gives himself a real viable chance now. He has one decoy to work with as both CTs coming from the spawn area. Still considering top of the stairs. I thought that Fur might just sit and actually wait for the vision to get fallen closer, but now he's got to clutch it. Fur's job has certainly been done and it was incredible. They know where he is, and he knows where they are. Zontaras is low, which means he takes down Major. He's got a real chance at it. Oh, one versus one. He's waiting for the peak to come around from Zontaras. who can't go for the jump, and Fallen's got the headshot. What a clutch back from SK. Uh, that was so sick. He does it again towards CT spawn. And I was going to say, if he doesn't kill this first orb towards that steps area, he's got a real chance of doing this one. Kills the balcony player first, converts the spray on towards engine, as you'll see right now. Boom. Then he gets the AWP, finds a third kill, and he's falling into two versus one of one player low. That's Santaro's on 15. That's going to be rattling the confidence of Space Soldiers. What a fantastic round from Fur and Fallen. Cool as ever, and he's to win out the round. Final round of the first half now. And the 15. SK. Revitalized after that one. Taking the orbs out of the hands of Space Soldiers. Coming in the hands of Fallen. Santaro's flashing towards middle once again, trying to spray players down towards top of middle. So sick from Fur. Yeah, unbelievable. Got all three of them, so ultimately... Came out better off than I even expected. Gave everything he needed to fall in. Still not out of the woods yet, though, on the SK side. Has fallen. Has the AWP to work with, but Tonko's left with just a Deagle. Get a little for Phelps. And not a lot of money left over, meaning that they can be reset once again by Space Soldiers. It would only be a three-round reset, but it comes off the back of a four-round reset before that. So, point in case they never really 
and a chance to build up their economy. Marquan slows it down for another 15 here. Methodical from SK Gaming, he's in the same smoke towards window. Looks like an ace split coming in with the position of Phelps at that eight round. But Calix and Engine, look at them, they're playing in front of the bombs at this time. Haven't really seen them operate too much in that area. Fallen once more towards that connector, AWP in hand. Flashes towards short. Phelps, the A round. Santaras can't get it done. Opening kill for SK. Santaras Calix makes up Phelps gets taken down engine as well as they reverse back into the site from a main bomb has dropped 11 seconds Fallen has to go aggressive on the AWP and they certainly know that and have the angles covered off it's done absolutely done nine six and a half space soldiers take the half in their favor without the pistol mind you Indeed, they went zero three. The pistol that that blunder, the two versus five of Fur and Fallen. To be fair, there's not really much you can do about that. That's just Fur doing what he does best, getting behind the enemy lines. They had no awareness that it could be possible, and it all falls apart. But they managed to keep their heads above water and win the half nine six as they swap over to the T side now. Remember, it is slightly biased towards the CT side on this particular map. SK always going to be deadly on a map like Mirage, especially that man on your screen right now. Fallen, one of the most iconic in-game leaders and orpers within CS:GO. He is going to be looking to cause absolute pandemonium on the CT side with that AWP. Major had a good performance, but whether he can contain Fallen on the CT side is yet to be seen. There he is in the screen right now. In game, well, Orpa of Space Soldiers. In game leader as well. Indeed. So quite similar roles. Yeah, both have op in game leaders. <coughs> a few teams that have last week. The buy for space soldiers. Calix with the upgraded pistol goes to the P250. Three sets of armor as engine opts for utility here. Smoke flashbangs. You should note Calix has a smoke as well. They're going towards B now. Smokes to be deployed. Flashes to go in. It's up to Taco to try and hold inside the B bomb site. He is alone. Cold arrow towards short. Nice and close to the site. Flashbangs to go in. Smokes towards short. And they go. Taco needs to find at least one kill here. Shot, tons of opportunity to do so though. It does get some down, but goes into the grave immediately after. The ball bearer becomes buried as for at least gets major back. Cold swinging, takes down Paz. Bomb has been planted. But certainly a chance to get back in the site. Good find. Calix engine sneaks in behind Cold. He was ready for it. They couldn't get the kill. It suddenly becomes level two versus two, but just Calix remains kit for Phelps. He's picked that up because he has armor as well, and he's got the kill on top of it. Good. Pistol round for SK, their second pistol round in this game. Absolutely is. Cold Zera saving the day there with a nice shot towards Shaw to delay them as they came out. Phelps with two frags himself. He did say Taco had to get one. I believe the opportunity, you're right, but he did nail the first shot that was required. And then Space Soldiers made it very interesting, the two versus two, but couldn't close things out there. Well then, nine to seven. Space Soldiers get the bomb down. You'd assume we see AKs in the third round. SK not really prepared for that. They have, okay, fall on the P250. That does make more sense. If they win this, they'll get uh, enough to get him the AWP. So he'll stay on the P250 for now. His objective is to stay alive there, keep that armor up. Doesn't really necessarily want to find too many jewels. So, with that in mind, what are space soldiers going to try and do? It looks like we're four players towards there, the bomb heading towards B map. And that's going to be on the back of Major. Let's see if we can get anything planted here. That'd be amazing if we get a plant here. Doesn't look like he necessarily will. SK, I'm afraid, way too aware. And Taco with the main sweep. Fallen even holding the pistol underneath the shadow gets a shot and a kill. That's good. Means he definitely gets the orb now against the AKs of space soldiers. They definitely won't have the AWP. There it is. There's the buy. It's almost like you played this game, Henry. Once or twice, many moons ago. Fallen's actually given the op, I think, to Taco, and that is spawn. It's actually not spawn dependent. Taco, um, he plays B by himself, right? So right. it allows yep, him to be a turret right. at the B bomb site. I was going to say, because Fallen actually had a brilliant spawn to get to middle, but no. you're right, he is going to take it toward B. Yeah, so that, that's fine. It's not like it's a uh, massive adjustment. Fast play, though, for the space soldiers. Fallen caught. There's Nate out, but it doesn't seem to matter. It's clumsy, but they all count. Three kills for him. Really nice shutdown there from Fallen. Just one player running for space soldiers. We're all going to be tied up here. They went for the fast play, and they didn't check the balcony at all. Fallen looking for his fourth. And it will be called Zero to not Alex. close things down. Now, Calix gives himself a fighting chance here. Phelps to close out the round. Taco 
anchored B alone with that officer. They actually yes. put four players in A, be ready for fast contact on the buy. Brilliant read from Fallen as a result. You're right, they didn't check the balcony at Look all. Fallen, Fallen is just <laughs> sitting there. He's stuck on the ladder twice. Like, if they even looked at him, he was dead. Yeah, well, his teammates take all the aggro for him. So, absolutely fine. They managed to pick up a secondary AWP with the looks of things. And we go into round number 19. Space Soldier's no bomb there. Looking like they'll lose the lead they once had. Eagles, PD50s, no armor, no nades, and for ready and waiting top middle. AK47 in half, go spray down here, takes down pads. Towers will be brave to challenge that again. He has got the Deagle, but didn't find the 1D. Inside of the B apartments, we'll hold them at bay for a moment. Taco's going to go very passive. Now with the second op for Fallen. He's not. Alone at B, they're not stacking around it. They've got one on either side. It's pushed up middle and not seen anyone. This will be interesting to see how this plays out because Tonko alone has to hit shots. Otherwise, if he goes down, they'll get a bomb plan at the very least. They could make things problematic if this op gets in the wrong hand. He still waits. This is the second shot, but bomb is planted. Up a lot of ground on the B side and gives some more money to space soldiers. Oh, it's not Torres! What a shot on cold. The second one on fur was even better as he's transferred inside of the site. Double up on retake. Phelps on the AK. They haven't been able to pick up any guns on the space soldiers' side, but my goodness, they've given themselves a chance. Finally, he's on Torres down. And it looks as though SK may have just done enough, but it's Calix as well. Oh. And he's just as dangerous at times. Yeah, well, Zontaro is just sending out a clear message to SK Gaming that this game is not over just yet. They might be on eco, but the Deagle definitely singing in that round. Here he comes towards Shaw, hitting absolutely everything there. Fantastic stuff from the key player of Space Soldiers. Finds two. Calix had the chance to get a double himself. The nades are just too powerful towards that bench position. 10 to 9. AK's across the board on the T side here. Escape. Taco and forward. The AWP. So no cold zero map. Three kills, 13 deaths. He's not really been a factor at all in this game. Yeah, he certainly hasn't. That's not characteristic of cold at all. Three for 13. Taco is the closest to him with 10 on his team. And on the desk, Richard and the boys. Second year in a row, he's gotten the HL TV's number one player of the year rating. Yeah, that's not bad at all, is it? Considering he's played two and a half years, so the two full seasons he's played, he's been number one. Tops towards the window area there. CT's not giving much away here, pretty standard round from them. Of course, Taco hoping towards B once again, Major. No, the same story, has the AK-47. Taco's off though. And Offers himself up. That's a pretty clumsy move, but luckily Phelps is ready to get the frag and return. No, usually you're going to be jumping out. Just your head showing. He shows his whole body, and no wonder he goes down. And Jim, with the second frag of the round, gives him a four versus three, and they will commit towards a B bomb side with no one there whatsoever from the CT force. They might consider saving it. As you can see, Phelps, the closest player all the way through the vent already. I think they're taking a gamble, hoping they come towards A, but that's not going to be the case whatsoever. Should be 10 10 here almost certainly. Another plant. Bomb has been planted. Yeah, nothing they can do with this. CT's so far removed from the situation. Engine as well to cut them off. He's already cleared checker, so he'll just hold towards CT spawn. No one will be able to rotate over. Good find from Fallen, at least to take him down. We did say all the rounds for this one. All the rounds. Last game of the day. It's been a fast day. We haven't had so many one-sided score lines at all in this major until today. And interestingly enough, it's the legends that have been struggling the, the most. SK's not out of the woods in this one. Gambit's the only returning legend team to pick up a win so far today. Obviously, they only have seven legends. It's 100 Thieves. That would tip over that final qualifying spot. Did indeed. 10 to 10, round number 21. SK managed to at least save a couple of rifles there, and here we go, is the, the big stats. Zantara is a star player, space order, 17 kills, 14 deaths, and SK Gaming's Cold Zera, 3 and 14. Not his best showing so far into this major, it's their first map of the tournament. We do, do still have them as a favorite here, but Zera, a bit worrying for him, kicking off the major in this fashion. Fallen, this is a very, Common example of what he can do. 
pushing in towards that underpass area. Nails one shot, gets out of there. Very calculated stuff, and it's going to funnel Major at least towards that deep bomb site. Takes down Taco, and it's a talk for what happens at the weaker side of Mirage for them. Oh, Zera coming to life. Take down Major in response, and Kalex can't find the killing blow on Phelps. He's trying desperately, is he not? 16 HP, but he can't wrap around the boxes far enough to get the shot. Paz will try and find an alternative angle, perhaps, that works in their favor from Connector. Oh, and good read. That's a nice be exposed, but can't find the shot on Paz. So it's answered immediately and position given up. Phelps, Phelps is for, forced off, excuse me, the angle. Tied at knots, but either way, he can't peek because he's on 16, which means bomb plant for sure. And Paz finds fur, responded by cold, but now Phelps needs to get information fast enough on Calix, and he's actually going to back off his first approach because he's spotted going A main. This could catch cold off if the information was relayed and cold doesn't consider that he could be back in the site. He'll be left in the open, and that's exactly the case. Great read from Calix. Yeah, absolutely. Trying to bait out, he's going towards the A round. That's exactly what they thought. Repositions on towards a bomb site. Very unorthodox play. No one's going to expect him there whatsoever. Peaks before Coldzera even has a chance to inspect the bomb site himself and keeps him contained. Don't let Coldzera build into this game. It's not over just yet. The space sword has ruined the economy of SK now. They're in a great position to find 12 10. It's going to be falling in person to scout here. Some CZs around him. Deagle on Coldzera. Still not really doing much here on Mirage. That's the one, remember. It's a great way to kick things off for Space Soldiers in their Swiss format. Has been said before that underdogs seem to thrive in this sort of environment. Absolutely. Certainly have. Well, Space Soldiers out of a top eight, if everything aligns for them. A dark horse for sure. They and Vega. Yes. Already showed us what they can do today against North. I mean, this one's wide open, let's be honest. Yeah. Seven returning teams. Three of them certainly questionable. At the very least. One of them playing with a stand-in. Mm -hmm. Still a threat with that stand-in RSK, but yeah, there's lots of opportunity for the challenging teams. Towards A they go. One player in Panis, that's Calix. But there is a hard stack from SK in the A bomb site. Like the Scouts have fallen towards the steps position. So we have full execution. This is where you this is played powerfully from Space Hold in terms of doing a deep at the start. They haven't really got much information for us. So they'll go for the set piece here. Smoking every single area of the map. Holland solves in. They should be able to trade effectively. Falling with a nice shot towards Calix, but still it starts to fall apart. Paz trading, but they're not checking the bomb site here. Still will be a two on two. Now a two versus one. Fallen, they know he's on this side of the map. Scouts in hand. Using that gap at the bomb should be planted quite safely. No information on the smoke. Does dissipate at the exact time he needed it to, so he was able to spot the backside of Zontara is working toward fire. Fallen still has a chance to peek out and look for more. Yeah, they, they unless they make a massive blunder here, there shouldn't be a way he can win this one. If they give him a chance like that, maybe there is. He can't nail the shot pass, takes him down, and Zantares will keep his life. Two kills for them, and it was the A commitment from SK Gaming. Traded out effectively, engine. Bomb in hand, never run into a bomb site with the bomb out like that. Yeah. That is an absolute nightmare. Um, you just got out, not even a knife. You want to have your AK out until you've ascertained this side is clear. You have no idea what they're doing on those sort of rounds. Never do that, ladies and gentlemen. But still recovered. And it will be round number 23. 12 to 10 a week by once again for SK. This could fall out of the grasp. Taco now has to all be without the AWP. In fact, he's got a UMP. The S. Well, I'm going to say the submachine gun. But uh, we'll see whether. He can do anything with that. Look at the lack of grenades as well. Incendiary, flashbang, a few smokes, a couple of kids. This is looking really weak for SK now. Major to peek in toward B. I'll put up short because he wants to cover the right side of the hallway and get positioned safely, but Tonko is further back, but he falls off anyway. Give him a chance to get further up. It's knocked off eventually as Major. Fallen again, 
going to be playing at the top side of the balcony inside of A as well. And they are heading back in that direction. Keep in mind, SK has both pistol rounds in this game. And it is 12 to 10 in favor of Space Soldiers. Alwyn thinks of his positioning, backs off, gets to a better spot. Round four, divided attention. Good position to be in because on Terrace is a good flash as well. Now he's ready as Phelps baits them back toward his direction. They know Phelps there, but where's he gone? Paz certainly finds it instantly. Just tanked as well, the 48 through the edge of the box. AK certainly prevail in that regard. The damage distribution far greater. Prefer to get major transitioning over, so they've got the advantage, but Paul is being planted, or is it? Because engine is shut down by Cold, and the ball Ooh. forced off. Kalix drops as well. Very tight round there. SK Gaming coming out on top just about. And with the Mac 10s and the Galozi AKs of Space Soldiers after winning three rounds in a row. They've got plenty of cash for the next round. SK survived with two members there. It's going to be Coldzera. Uh, Coldzera finally showing us he's arriving into this match. He's now on eight kills, 16 deaths. Probably his best round so far. It wasn't anything too spectacular. Nice spray down to find Kalex in the end. 12-11. Remember, SK won both pistols, converted them to the zero threes in their favor. Space Soldiers, not the strongest of buys here. Zantara's, Paz, and Kalex with the AKs. It's going to be engine a major with those Mac 10s. Shotgun for Fallen. I'll be interested to see whether he can start making his shots with that weapon. Mac 7 is the most prevalent of the shotguns. Uh, now, trying to give Zantara's a taste of his own medicine. They actually hit each other quite equally. As the smoke's going towards the window area. Fallen is on the E-ramp, indeed he is, with the shotgun. It's going to be difficult to find multiple frags in that position, but could sneak one kill and try and fall back. It'd be amazing if you can do that. 20 kills for Kallax so far, and everything slows right down. Three players at the A-ramp, four space soldiers. Two in the B-halls. I would say this will be a B, uh, an A-split, ultimately. Okay, well, that's brave. How's he got away with that? Why did he nearly get away with another one as well as he continues to spray the shotgun? Nearly cuts engine for it, but Phelps behind the smoke flashed off. Has to be somewhat careful to go back in. Watch for Cold. Cold's lining him up. Cold's taking him down. Bomb included, and he'll take over the B apartments. That's the round, I would say. Major and engine both over on A still. Trying to go for the lurk fake. They'll wrap back around it. Still possible, but not now. Prefer killing off the first, getting the information on the second. And he'll try and perverse and preserve his own life by going on the angle. It doesn't even matter. Taco's there to close it out. Good rounds. It's fallen to throw a spanner into works there. They try to get towards B and Cold's error. Gifted the opportunity to find a couple of frags there. It's unfortunate they didn't check the corner. Obviously, all the attention taken away from that particular position by his teammate on the site. 12 12. That should be eco now for Space Soldiers as SK tie things up. Looks like a force buy. Okay, just a partial buy from the Turkish squad. Zantara's will have a Deagle one armor, but these rounds always can be dangerous, Matt. Especially when you get three smokes and flashbangs, because they go towards B for the set piece. Already two smokes towards each arch of short. One in front of the bomb site and try and get the bomb down and hopefully snowball out of control. Here are the smokes. Final command will be coming in very shortly, but Major does go down quite quickly there to the hands of Taco by the van. Good Molotov. That was smoked the arch. Other side of it, before the smoke blooms as well, he's able to take down Paz, so Taco is alone for a moment. I think Cold's actually transitioned through the smoke. Yeah, he has. He's given him all the confidence he needs to take position. Actually, able to find the kill. 13 for SK. Job. I did feel like this one would go the distance. Sammy has so far, round number 26. Taco, AK-47 in the previous round. It's going to be a very beneficial setup for him. It's going to be Cold Zero on the secondary arm now. Maybe he can find his confidence with that weapon. Historically, he was the secondary orb at two fallen. And Space Soldiers will take their first tactical timeout. 13-12. They have no orb on their side. It's going to be five AK-47s. I think they feel this one's slipping away somewhat. So time to slow things down, take stock of what's happening. SK, of course, get the chance to speak at the very same time. They'll be discussing their options as we get ready for the round. I've seen a bit of aggression from the CT forces. We saw Fallen go towards that underpass area, try and open things up, which he did successfully. I want to see more of that. That's when he plays his absolute best, when he has that lack of respect, I think. Just running around the map and taking picks and hitting every single shot. So 
So here we go. Back underway. Space Soldiers trying to take back the lead that they've now lost. SK. Double op setup. Fallen's gonna go for the fast middle as well. No smoke yet. Yeah, they have gone for the catwalk smoke. He's gonna try and Molotov behind the boxes to hold them off. So now they'll have to re-smoke catwalk is the plan when they want to take middle because the Molotov keeps them away from boxes, which have been easier to take with the smoke there for cross. Flash highs on Terra's gonna take the other approach, go for the straight peak, deeper smoke this time. Cold's boosted up above and Fallen already hits the first shot on it. Cold's not aware Oof. that they've gone from below and Engine gets a free kill as well. Yeah, absolutely for free. They had the advantage that could have fallen back, but they wanted a bit more from it. Lots of concentration there from the city forces of uh, his flash to oblivion. They're all hiding the smoke for now. One minute remaining. Looking like he might be able to find another kill where engine just waiting in the corner. Hoping not to give anything away. Smoke going down. So Fur will decide to fall back here. Good flash though. Somehow maneuvers himself into safety and Fallen will protect him. All the way from the window position. Takes him down. And I think the advantage once more, but Fallen can't find that shot or that one. Great scenes here for SK. They still have the lead, four to three. Certainly do. That's beneficial to them, but they're certainly giving away. <laughs> I suppose they're not. He's fallen missing in middle. No one really took position from that, so inconsequential perhaps. Furs not allowed them to get towards connector. He was certainly posted and ready should they have gone that way. Goes back to the palace. Watch for Calix. He's sliding underneath. And Fur is caught. Looks though, gets caught out inside of the sights on Tarez. Could do nothing more than trade out the kill, meaning that he now has to run forward and get the bomb, and he's gonna try and plant it a little safer, but oh, oh. it takes his teammate. My god, the lineup was there. It was. I thought Zantaras had that one all day long, but Taco holds his nerve 14 to 12. That was such a huge round for SK. That really has applied a lot of pressure here towards the space soldiers. They have about 3k per player right now. And he's fallen, getting it done towards the underpass, nailing the shots towards Paz. This is the one from the window area. This is the smoke goes down. He times it to perfection. Protects Fur. He misses a few, but ultimately two in the round for him. Not bad at all. They will be force buying here. CZs, MAC-10s, UMPs, AK-47 for Zantara's. Little in terms of the utility. SK win this. It's pretty much done. So much pressure now on the challenging team, Space Soldiers. Interesting bounce smoke. I've not seen it thrown that way before. That's cool. Off the antenna, back to the arch. That's why I throw that off the skybox as well, but Fallen, good shot. Taking that to Torres and Major. Oh, Space Soldiers, my goodness, Paz. Nice shot. Nice reaction from Taco. <laughs> Absolutely. Four on two now. Calyx and Engine to hold tight. They have no utility whatsoever. Engine without a weapon. He's got the pistol in hand, and the CTs will be calm and collected with this one. And let's make sure they go in together. For a flashback at the window, Molotov towards the key positions, and Engine, good strike, takes down Taco with the AWP. Gives him a fighting chance here, even more so with the AK-47. Two or two, can Kalex and Engine hold on? Kalex is they've gone to his left. He's trying to just stay alive, conserve himself. Or swings, finds Cole, but traded by Phelps. AK available for him, but he's lost track of Engine, who's still on the pistol and buying time. He'll go to the pistol himself, then just barely win it out. Nope. No, he doesn't, you're right, I thought he had the time. Boom, gone dead too. Big round from Space Soldiers there. Calix once again performing at a very high level. AK-47 in hand. It seemed done. First two kills, I think maybe three in total before Space Soldiers started to strike on the server. This is the play from Paz, though. Gets a dink, takes down Fallen. Taco with the nose code. They think that's it. Four on two situation, but no. An AK-47, a CZ-75, no nades, and they win it out four versus two. And it's actually going to throw SK into no money. This is probably going overtime now. Well, 14-14 looks very likely. So guns brought up. Tons of chatter on the Space Soldiers side. Oh, inside the head. We are looking inside the minds of Space Soldiers during this timeout. Not much going on in there, the looks of things see-through it's probably actually more accurate to my head i have put a hole oh, in there to check wait. for it sk went all in they have actually you're right why have they done that following the scout this is gonna put them it's 
second round loss bonus they bought in. It would have been 1900. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why you do this. You're going to get 1900 on nothing at this point. Oh, this is a real tight call. Like, it would have been a rough buy next round either way. They're just hoping they can force this one out and squeeze the victory. Maybe they can. Let's see. Cold Zero overlook for now. It was the first shot I see. He's back in here. He does manage to do 97 damage. Calix, it's all falling apart. This buy is working out for SK. 4 and 3 now as the T's are floundering. Calix and Zantaros do fight back there. Nice headshot from the format. Fallen. Now on a 3 versus 3. Haven't managed to recover any rifles just yet. Two players within the shot of the scout as well. So oh. that becomes menacing. Make that all three. Nature's down to six. Fallen's got Zantaros. That scout is basically an AWP at this point in time, if you will. Indeed. Because he's now got it drawn and ready. He's gone away from the A site. They want to work this together. Taco and Fur are both a little bit unhealthy as well. Yeah, this isn't done just yet. It's going to take an absolutely brilliant call from Space Soldiers here to clutch this one out. Bomb to be planted, that's the first step. Now, the crossfire has to begin. It has to be absolutely spot on. They can't take any damage here. I'm going to go pistols. Running that's, gun, why not? It's enough. Low. It's certainly enough if they've got the calls right. Ooh, fur down, I was going to say. The Famas, they're going to go for the wraparound. They want to play this double play from Connector. They want to double peek on the defuse. Fallen's not aware of it. Bolt's off to the bomb, but down they go. Did that reach far enough? I'm not sure that it did. I think they can get on that defuse right now. They certainly can, but they're still not sure as to where Calix is, and he has positioned himself accordingly. If they line up even slightly, the AK can still oh, win it out, but what a shot what a from Taco, and just barely they'll get there. You're right. Fallen has one HP on the defuse. If he went down, that was done. That's so unlucky. One HP separates the round and potentially the game. SK Gaming with the force by there. It was questionable. CZ, Scouts, UMPs, and the Famous. One HP. The body block comes in from Taco, and somehow they survive. You can see dead, the coach dead, knowing how much that means to the team. That's going to send Space Order to a very uncomfortable position here. Galil. Pistols and a UMP. Wall of Smokes towards a last chance saloon now. What a game it's turned out to be. I did think this would be the best of the day. Living up to expectations. The difference between 14-14 and very little money for SK was 1 HP. Okay, yeah, that is a good game. Down Phelps doesn't care. He'll fire through it. Paz gets found. They've advanced far into the site, though. Major's already at the ticket through. booth. He could go exactly that straight through. He's going to go over the top. He's forced off. Phelps is reloading. How does he not get that kill right away? He manages to do so, but man, oh man, he took a lot of damage doing it. He's the CTs here, using that gap, exploiting it, if you will. But make it a four versus three. Major can't upgrade. Still on the MAC 10 here. Low HP as well. Looking towards CT Spawner. First taking a ton of damage. Countdown begins. And SK close it out right here, right now. Zantara's doing everything he can to deny that. Fur drops. And still, the dream is alive for Space Soldiers. Marco, oh, trying to get the information peek back out. Brings it to two versus two. Zantara's on a deagle and deadly, but... Diffuse as well. Cold holds the angle. 16-13. SK become the second Legends team to win. Man, oh man, did they ever have to work for it? They absolutely did have to work for it, Matt. What an absolutely fantastic game. I really enjoyed it. Commiserations to Space Soldiers. A tough, a difficult.